Um, first thing we want to do is set these both equal to 0. So we say x equals 2 and x equals 1, right? I'm working my way backwards. Then I set these equal to 0. So I subtract 2, subtract 1. x minus 2 equals 0, x minus 1 equals 0. Does everybody follow me? Now, why did we set these equal to 0? Because these are factors. So we write our factors multiplied equal to 0. So you write x minus 2 times x minus 1 equals 0. But why did we set our factors equal to 0? Because that was our first rule, right? So we want to reset it back into our equation. Or if they're asking for a function, we'd set it back to f of x. Now, oh, actually, I'll just I'll rewrite it. I won't expect you guys to do it. But I'm just going to rewrite it so you guys see where everything went. So now we need to multiply these. So you can apply FOIL. FOIL tells us to multiply our first terms, um, multiply our last terms, inner and our outer. Right? Abby, Abby, this is what I'm talking about. So now x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. Negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2 equals y. Now I have like terms, so I combine them. So my final answer is x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals y. However, we don't really like to write the y at the end. So I'll say y equals. OK? OK. Now, if you guys had a third one, 